Hey guys, welcome to Kai Station and today we'll be talking about playing a mirror match that means your deck has the same um, deck theme as the opponent and winning using a suboptimal version of that mirror match. So here goes. Okay, so let's talk about our uh, mirror match game today. So we are rocking a Duster Minitor lineup. And of course, the opponent is also using a Dust Terminator lineup, but he is using the most famous, powerful version that is popularized by a Twitch streamer, and that is what is called the Shrimpinator. So, a Shrimpinator has a Dust Terminator on its backline. Dust Terminators have the fastest speed out of all Terminators, which is a speed of 46. And then on the midliner is a shrimp aqua. It's a backdoor aqua that uses a shrimp to put heavy damage on the opponent's backline using barb strike or dash worm and a bunch of aqua cards here to uh, inflict heavy damage on the opponent's backline and thus destroying the strategy of your opponent. And uh, for the midline or the for the front for the tank of the opponent it's usually a plant that is using an aqua stock or a watering can and this is a deterrent for the usual ag aggressive decks out there which are aquas so this puts them at a at a very advantage in case the aqua stock does trigger and the aqua opponent uh, gives away free energy for the user of the watering can Usually, the standard uh, tank that is used here is a yam, has a yam tail, but instead, this current player is using cat tail slot to further his advantage against terminators since terminators are using bug cards. So, this card actually draws extra cards each time a bug card hits cat tail slot. Another important thing here is that leaf bug is used on the tank because leaf bug actually activates garish worms poison effect when played in the chain if as you all know garish worm also only applies to poison in case another bug card is played on the same turn that garish worm is played so that's why leaf bug is a must also if you don't have leaf bug uh the mystic rush of a terminator and other and other bug cards can also activate Garish Burn, albeit those are less efficient than the Leaf Bug. On our side here, our plant is the standard Yam plant with Leaf Bug. And uh, we have the same Dust Terminator, although it's a bit slower because our Axie number is actually younger than our opponents. So if you can see here, his Dust Terminator goes uh, faster than our own Dust Terminator. And the main difference here, that's why we are using a suboptimal build because we don't have a shrimp in either, a shrimp aqua, so we are just using a Nemo aqua instead. And uh, since the main problem of a Terminator is going through the tank, we just use an extra beast card on the horn so that Risky Fish, Risky Fish plus the beast horn will inflict major damage on the opponent's tank. And hopefully we'll get through the tank quicker than uh, than normal if we are just using a standard your aqua. So let's see how it goes. So on the first turn here, basically, uh, what I want to avoid is getting to the late stages where the shrimp aqua was able to inflict heavy damage on our Dust Terminator here and uh, we are able to move freely because of the heavy damage inflicted by the poison. So as much as possible, we would want to uh, get rid of the plant already here so that we can actually go through and get rid of the aqua as, as soon as possible. So that's why I'm using, with the cards that I drew, I wanted to use all the energy because on Terminators, it's usually common knowledge that Terminators want to save energy and skips on the first turn. 
So, if that's what the opponent is thinking, he might be thinking that uh, I'll just pass this turn or use a vegetal card if he has if he has to, to steal energy. So that means that he's not expecting me to attack, and uh, thus, since he's not expecting me to attack, there's a very low chance that we'll be using his aqua stop. So this is a good time to actually use all of the aqua cards that I have, as while he doesn't have or while he is not going to use aqua stop. So that's why I used everything, and also I emptied my energy just in case he uses vegetal type instead. So as such, the opponent actually skips and uh, he saves energy. So now he's up to 5 energy. So having 5 energy and plus previously he didn't use any cards on his plant as well so that gives me an, an idea that he might have drawn a lot of aqua or a lot of terminator cards so it's highly probable that he has the full shrimp combo on the second turn. So if you can see here, I opted to use snail, one snail shell to at least uh, mitigate some of the damage that the uh, shrimp combo will inflict on my dust terminator. So since he has 5 energy, he's going to use 4 energy for that combo, so he'll be have he'll only have 1 energy left, and that 1 energy might be used to you might be used for his aqua stock. So I uh, so I try to uh, minimize the risk and not attack on this turn. Plus I don't even have the good attack cards anyway. So I just save up energy here. Use with only one energy, he wouldn't be able to use Vegetal Bite anyway. And uh, of course, without uh, he drew Leaf Bug in Vegetal Bite, that's also possible. So I just risk it at this point. So he actually uses the Shrimp Throw combo, but because of our Steel Shells, he wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, need to take maximum damage. He leaves us a half HP. So he actually uses a watering can as expected, and he also have leaf bug and the cattail. So the cattail, uh, the cattail capitalizes on the bug cards that we have used, and he was able to draw three cards from them. So since he used up everything on his previous turn, but he. From Leaf Bug, he got 1 energy back, so that means he has 3 energy on this turn. 3 energy, does it actually give him a good chance to kill again my Dusk here using a Shrimp? So I'm guessing that he will be trying to... That uh, he will be trying to defend on his plant here. So, since he's, he will be trying to defend on his plant, uh, we'll just... Uh, I guess we'll just be skipping this turn instead. But actually, he, does, he actually skips also and he tries to save up some energy. So we were able to steal some energy from him using Vegetal Bite. And in case if ever he attacks, we have Yam to inflict poison. So that uh, gives up his plan. So he has 4 energy, and I'm guessing he'll try to uh, get rid of our dust terminator this, this time. It's round 4, so he has already drawn uh, most of his deck, so there's a highly good chance that he has shrimp on this turn. So I try to put some shield on my terminator here because he might not have a good combo with this aqua, because he hasn't been using a lot of terminator cards actually. So, I try to put a chomp there for the 50 shield since I have a lot of energy anyway. So, he has drawn a good, a good amount of aqua cards on his turn, so that's why the 50 shield wasn't uh, enough to defend from it. 
and now use double mystic rush just to inflict further damage on our plant here. So that actually puts him back to two energy on his next turn. So now with just two energy, probably he won't be able to defend on his aqua. He won't be able to break walls since he already used his garage. Uh, one of his garage work, so he may have another. So that's just 50 shield. At most, he can uh, put another clam slash or maybe a piranha. So that's at most 90 shield. So for 90 shield, our four card attack from an aqua will be enough to kill him off anyway. So his best move here is to actually pass and let his aqua die on its on its own. But instead, it looks like that he uh, tried to defend and use up energy. So this is a bad move for the opponent. So even without the critical, he would have easily died from the little branch. If, and also, if he was if, was if he was actually counting on the last stand of his apple, he shouldn't have used the snail shell on his backside because the, that snail shell would actually reduce the the life of the last stand of his apple. So that's another uh, misplay from him. So with that, he is again stuck on to energy. And uh, since I am expecting him to try to kill, uh, to try to kill my tank here, even with that two energy, so I try to defend from it as much as I, as much as I can. So he uses 2 energy for that double allergic reaction and he attacks right into Yam since it was expected that he will attack. So I only have 2 energy for this turn, he also has 2, so I need to save up some energy and uh, I'll be able to use Nemo safely this turn because I actually saved Nemo for the Terminator uh, 1v1 so I was, because I was expecting our Aqua to go against this Reptile. So I was saving Nemo and, not, and I wasn't using it earlier. So this is why. So Nemo is very important on, on the later stages of the game because of the energy gain. And also another uh, ace card by Aquas on the turn later matchup is Goldfish because even if the opponent uses Mystic Rush to try to reduce our speed, Goldfish gives back the speed that, that was reduced so keeping our Aqua going ahead in the third order and uh, giving no chance for the Terminator to go first and inflict heavy damage on us. So getting stuck here is okay since he attack us anyway. And again, he used two energy here. Then that again resets him back to two energy. For us though, we were able to save and and recharge some energy from the previous turn, so we are now at four, giving us free reign over how we will play on this round. So usually for two energy terminators, the maximum shield that they can do is 115. So we can expect that and put out a high damage card like this, putting a high damage card on the first attack to break the shield, and then get putting Nemo on the next one to cancel the to cancel the stun, and then putting the high damage cards next to reduce the terminator So break the shield, Nemo cancels the stun. And then two high damage cards. So if you look at this, even if the opponent uses double mystic rush, goldfish just negates the minus speed and still puts our aqua ahead in the game. Alright, so this is how this is how you can play the mirror match in the terminator matchup, even if you are rocking a sub-optimal build compared to your opponent. So I hope you liked this video guys and you can 
uh, like and support my page, Hi Station, on Facebook and on YouTube. We have a channel also. Hoping you can also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.